welcome to my channel Yamas and Nonsense. Here I will be talking about my experience in Peru where I am actually spending two semesters abroad and I decided to make this YouTube channel to share my experience. I decided to record my videos in English because I am definitely gonna, going to be talking about the people I'm staying with and other people and people I like meet and it's probably kind of weird if I talk about them and they don't know what I'm saying so I thought it would be appropriate to um, yeah, record my videos in English. Last Saturday I arrived in Cusco at 5 in the morning after 40 hours of flight because one of my flights has been cancelled so I missed my flight in Lima to, Peru uh, to Cusco so um, I had to wait 9 hours at the airport in Lima and I started in Amsterdam where I also had to wait a long time so I spent a long time on a plane and in the airports but eventually I arrived and met the people I'm currently staying with Fabrizio and Kat who own the vegan restaurant Greenpoint and they are so nice, I'm loving them so much we get along really well and we do have a lot in common and I still have got a lot to learn from them and they are spiritual and they know a lot about life and yoga and basically everything that interests me so I'm really happy that I get the chance to live with them and I'm finding it still really incredible that all of this happened and that I met them. We are living in the mountains, <laughs> in the Andes, um, quite far away from the center of Cusco. I need around an hour to get to the center and university, but it's so worth it. It is so beautiful here. As I said, I'm spending two semesters here in Cusco at a university that is called Universidad San Ignacio de Loyola. Um, it is a university for internationals and they focus on the culture of Peru and the Andes and you can take a lot of courses also about healing and shamanism and um, the history of the Inca and I'm also having Spanish courses and Quechua. Unfortunately some of the courses don't take place because we are only 10 people all in all but um, the university is really cool and the teachers are so nice and it's such a beautiful university. Cusco is also a really nice city and it has a really, really special flair and you can find a lot of yoga and healing and natural products and yeah, it's it's quite a spiritual city actually because of the tourists obviously. So. Of course that can be criticized but still it is a really nice city and you see a lot of llamas and um, yeah just uh, local people obviously a lot of dogs and a lot of traffic and beeping cars but I'm so happy that I chose Cusco over Lima it is actually really cold here uh, in the daytime it's like 20 degrees Celsius but at night it's like zero degrees Celsius or maybe five in the morning and it is so cold <laughs> because there's no heating I think no house in Cusco actually has heating or only very few but yeah it is really cold I really underestimate the cold but fortunately my university gave me um, this jacket as a welcome present and it's really warm and really nice and I'm getting adjusted to it so I'm not freezing that much anymore especially in the morning but still it is kind of annoying it will take some time to get used to especially just the huge difference between nighttime and morning and the daytime because in the morning you dress up really warm and then in the daytime you're just boiling but yeah, it, it, I get used to it. And I also want to say a huge thank you for everyone who made this experience possible, including my friends and family who supported me 
in my decision. I also want to thank College Contact for helping me with the application and answering all of my questions. And of course I also want to thank Fabrizio and Kat for letting me stay with them. And most of all I want to thank my scholarship um, organization or whatever you would call it was a Luxembourg Stiftung who paid my flight and who paid my tuition fees and who are giving me money each month to be able to live here and I'm so incredibly thankful that they are making this happen because without them I could never have done it. They are just some really great people and I I just want to really thank them that they support me in my experience here in Peru. So that is all for now. I'm going to be recording some more videos um, in detail about the university, about Cusco, about this house, about the environment and other things that come to my head, maybe the food and if you want to see a video about another topic just let me know. So just look out for the videos if you are interested in knowing more and obviously I'm also going to record videos just um, as a live update um, maybe in a week or two and if you want to see some photos in advance then just follow me on Instagram because I'm constantly uploading some photos. Bye!